Meerschaum, an open-source ETL framework for building performant time series data streams. ETL is a simple process until it isn't. When you get to the scale of hundreds or thousands of data streams, keeping your code clean while dealing with constantly changing requirements can be an absolute nightmare. What usually happens is that code gets copypasted ad nauseum until you've created an unmaintainable mess that's also pretty inefficient. A lose-lose scenario. That's where Meerschaum comes in. It works by providing a clean interface through its robust plugin system, which separates the code for data ingestion, transformation, and output. Plugins are Python modules with their own virtual environments which enables you to fearlessly refactor and keep things tidy. The killer feature of Meerschaum is how it handles date-bounded incremental updates. Pass a begin and end timestamp to the sync operation so you can confidently resync previous intervals to catch any updates or new routes. The built-in first-class connector is the SQL connector, which supports popular SQL relational databases like PostgreSQL or MySQL, and even works for that poor guy who has to run Oracle SQL in 2023. The SQL connector is tuned to handle batches of chunks of data, maximizing your throughput, and when you're syncing within the same database, it handles transformations entirely in SQL, so nothing is loaded into RAM, bypassing one of the tightest bottlenecks in ETL and rocketing your performance. That's great and all, but suppose your stack uses one of those hip new databases that promises to disrupt the industry or whatever. You're in luck because creating your own custom connector is pretty straightforward and unlocks the true power of Meerschaum. For example, you can install the MongoDB connector plugin if you want to feel like you're at the cutting edge of database technology in 2010. Because MongoDB is web scale. To get started, create a file ending in .py and create a function named fetch that returns some data. Register a new pipe with your plugin as its connector and sync the pipe. A new table should be created on your instance database with the data you returned. Add support for the begin and end flags and you've got yourself your first plugin. But let's take it a step further. Install the Compose plugin and create a file named meershamcompose.yaml. Define your pipes and environment in the manifest and run the playbook to sync the pipes. You now have version-controlled and reproducible pipes running from an isolated environment, perfectly suited for dockerization and deployment in a way that DevOps will love. This has been Meersham in 100 seconds. Hit the like button if you want to see more short videos like this. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.